Himran on the star, who were the outstanding performers? I'd, I'd consider Harun Rashid as the fine of the fine of the tour. I think uh, it became obvious when he played that remarkable innings at Sydney, when he got 50, and we really were in trouble. I think the way he played, Lily, who was bowling, I think probably at his best at that time, and we were fairly desperate at the stage. I felt the way he played, even though he got 50 runs, the uh, the the mold of his inning was such that everyone realised that a star was born. And I, I really feel that he's, he's one of the finest players of fast bowling, even now. And uh, I think it, it won't be long before he polishes up his um, technique of playing spin bowling. But there's no doubt in my mind that he's the finest player of fast bowling in the world, even right now. Uh, Imran, you may be a little modest, but you have not mentioned Majid Khan. <laughs> well, uh, yes, I, I suppose after considering the fine of uh, the tour, I, uh, I always believe that Majid was uh, one of the great in batting in the world right now, and uh, I think he just he just proved proved the point by being so consistent. I think that that apart from anything else uh, shows that he really is a great batsman because throughout, even in West Indies and Australia, his consistency was the main factor. He proved to be the backbone of the team. I also found that Asif Iqbal was, uh, though maybe not so consistent, yet whenever he did play an innings, it was remarkable. I think he he's the sort of player who, on his day, looks better than almost anyone else in the world. There's just three innings uh, on the tour, the one at Adelaide, the Sydney innings, and the last one at Jamaica were all incredible. I mean, they just had to be seen to be believed. Well, I still maintain that the entire team betting was revolving around Majid. Yes, and that's true. Majid, Majid gives the team solidity. He was the backbone of the team. He sort of gave, when, whenever he was in... He took the thing off of the fast forward, don't you think so? That's true as well. I, you see, on, on, on wickets, on hard wickets like Australia and West Indies, uh, more so in Australia, I think the, the main threat comes from the new ball where obviously the new ball bounces more, the wickets are harder. And I think it's, if you can cope with the new ball, it makes it easier for the rest of the team. And I think that's where um, Majid played a major role. Even though he didn't, his innings weren't, except the one at Guyana, weren't very long. They were sort of less than 100. Yet he, by the time he was in, he made sure that the, uh, he gave the, the necessary tranquility to the team.